In the previous part, we understood the structure of cell wall in case of client cells. Now we would take up how is this cell wall formed and then the functions which are performed by the cell wall. So from where is this cell wall going to originate? So we are talking of the formation of cell wall. And again we are referring to the plant cell. Cell wall is formed at the time of cytokinesis. Let us draw one simple cell here. This is say a plant cell. Here after telophase, the two nuclei are formed. And now the cytokinesis has to start. So at the equatorial plane, there are certain fragments which come and align and they make this mitotic plate or cell plate. So this structure which we call the cell plate is actually made up of phragmoplasts. These phragmoplasts are actually smaller pieces of Golgi and Ea. Pieces of Golgi body and endoplasmic reticulum. These pieces, they have formed this plate-like structure. Now these phragmoplasts, they secrete middle lamella. So phragmoplast is going to secrete this calcium pectate containing layer which is known as the middle lamella. So now instead of these phragmoplasts, we are going to see this middle pectate layer that is the middle lamella in the middle. Both the cells now, because they are the ones which will give rise to the daughter cells. So the cytoplasmic content of this cell and the other cell starts to deposit the primary cell wall around this middle lamella. So this black line which we have drawn here is the primary cell wall made up of cellulose, hemicellulose. This is primary, this is primary. This has been secreted by the cytoplasm of one cell. This is by the cytoplasm of the other cell. That means here if we change this, the cell plate now will get replaced by the middle lamella. And this middle lamella is going to grow from the center part towards the periphery. And on either side, here is primary layer and here is also primary layer and growth is from the center towards the periphery. So this structure will now become the cell wall. This is what happens during cytokinesis. So formation of cell wall takes place at the time of cytokinesis. When the cell divides and the daughter cells are to be formed at that time the cytokinesis takes place. That means the middle lamella is the middle layer and on either side of it there is cellulosic cell wall. The only difference is the outermost cell. Suppose we are talking of a fruit and say this fruit has this outermost cell. This cell is the outermost. So the outermost part is not having that middle lamella because middle lamella is formed in the uh, by this phragmoplast which are pieces of Golgi and Ea. So outer ones will not have it. This is how and the time when uh, this cell wall is produced or synthesized. Now when we come to functions, functions of cell wall. Cell wall is a rigid structure so it provides the framework shape to the cell. So we can write it provides shape to the cell. The next function, primary layer of cell wall. There are three layers which we have talked of, primary, secondary and tertiary. The primary layer is believed to be helping in enzymatic action. So it is specifically primary cell wall helps in enzymatic action. Uh, action or reactions. Another important function which is performed by the cell wall is transport of water 
through apoplast. So it is apoplast transfer of water. So during water absorption, there are two ways in which this water gets absorbed. One is called symplast and the other is apoplast. And the apoplast movement is exclusively due to this cell wall. Quickly, we'll go over what exactly this apoplast thing means. I'm going to draw, say this is the root hair. This is the epidermis and here are the cortical cells and say this is the xylem. We are drawing these cortical cells thick because we want to show the cell wall. When water is to be taken in, the water comes into the root hair. From root hair, it has to reach up to the xylem so that it can be conducted upwards. This is known as absorption of water with the help of root hair. Now this water, it has two possible routes through which this water can go. One is when water goes through the cell wall of one cell to the next to the next and finally to the xylem. Here it is helping, the cell wall is helping in transport of water. We have not drawn endodermis and all because we are focusing only on the cell wall part. So this type of movement is known as apoplast. When water goes only through cell wall without entering into the cell. The other possible option is that water goes into the cell through plasmodesmata, then from this cell to the other, from here to here. That means water is going inside the cell. It is crossing plasma membrane. This type of transport is known as symplast. So, when we talk of the function of cell wall, we use that it helps in apoplast transfer or transport of water. And that is when water is moving only through the cell wall, not going into the cell. Fourth function, because of the cell wall, the cells have this rigid shape and probably this is one reason why the plants are able to attain such a great height. They are taller. If you imagine that there is a softer thing uh, and we place those soft things one above the other, the structure is not going to be rigid. But if we have a, a solid concrete kind of a structure with a rigid out, uh, outer wall and if we place them one over the other, like if we take uh, cardboard boxes and if we place them one over the other, it is going to be easier to make a taller column because of this rigid structure. So, plants are able to attain, plants have height because of this. So, this is like giving them a structure and that's why they are able to become taller. All these structures come under the functions, oh, sorry, all these functions are of a cell wall. Now, when we are talking of cell wall function, we should not forget that the secondary layer and tertiary layers also have certain depositions. And deposition is of a substance. So what is the role of that substance? Cutin, which is deposited in the secondary layer, secondary cell wall. And this secondary cell wall is present on the surface. Cutin prevents loss of water. So cutin is going to help in prevention of loss of water. And that is why this cutin containing layer is on the external surface. Same thing is going to happen with suberin. Suberin is also a substance which is impervious to water. So it also prevents loss of water. And the last substance that is lignin. Due to lignin deposition, there is an additional strength. So the cells which have to provide mechanical strength, they have lignin deposition. So lignin helps in providing mechanical strength or support to that structure. So all these things are the functions of cell wall. So we have seen how this cell wall formation takes place. Cell wall always appears between the dividing cell in between. So when it give, divides to form two daughter cells, the cell plate will be formed. Around that cell plate, cellulose will be deposited. 
and once this cellulose is deposited it grows touches the outer boundary and that's when we say that there are two daughter cells formed and these are the functions which are performed by the cell wall so with this we have completed the membrane part plasma membrane also and the layer which is outside that is cell wall now in the next part we will try to go inside the cell and see what all structures are there.